Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Anna. If you're into beauty or fashion related content, then hit that subscribe button. Today we're actually reviewing a new ColourPop palette. It is called the Stone Cold Fox Palette. Now, I'm not sure if this is still in stock. Currently it did sell out and then I think it came back in stock shortly. But if I'm correct, it might be back out of stock. So it does seem to be a pretty hot item. So I will put the link down below and hopefully is in stock by the time I post my video. I ordered this on launch day and I think it almost took like 12, I think it took about 12 days to get to me so it took a while. As soon as I got it I started filming my first impressions and I did two different looks on both eyes but I didn't really get to finish it or finish my final thoughts because my toddler did come up here and he kind of started interrupting the video and it was a little bit hard to like finish out my thoughts. But I figured I would do a review. I've used this four times, well five times now since I have got it and I definitely have some feelings about this palette. I purchased this palette because I do not have the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop, otherwise I maybe would have been like, do I really need another huge neutral palette? Of course this is their more cool toned neutrals, which I will show you the inside. You have a lot of these taupe colors, just all of these lean very cool toned, even the ones that don't look very cool toned, once you put them on the eye, they are cool toned, <laughs> even these mauves. A lot of these mauve shades do remind me of the mauves from the uh, the Making Mauves palette definitely reminds me of this. I feel like some of these colors we may have seen in the Coconut Going Coconuts palette as well as their newest taupe palette, the Nine Pan one, which I did not buy just because this came out right after and I know a lot of people were like, why would they do that, come out with a Nine Pan and then come out with a huge, <laughs> huge cool toned one, but if you guys remember, they actually did that with the Bare Necessities as well. Before Bare Necessities released, they came out with the Nine Pan Coconuts About You palette in that release, and then right after they released Bare Necessities. I got this one, it was on sale for, I think, 25, they were doing their 25% off sale, and this just happened to be a part of that sale, which kind of urged me to get it even more. Also, I don't have a lot of cool toned neutrals in my collection. I have a pretty big palette collection, and surprisingly, cool tone neutrals haven't been a huge thing the past years. Definitely ever since Jaclyn Hill came around, I feel like warm tone neutrals have been like the go-to classic nudes. And I feel like cool tone neutrals are just now starting to get spotlighted more and become more popular. We're seeing a lot more cool tone palettes come out, which is great for those of you who look better in cool tones. But that brings me to the thing that I don't necessarily love about this palette. Almost all these medium transition shades look so similar on the eyes to the point where it just started feeling like I couldn't even tell the difference between the colors and I don't know if that's just because of my skin tone or what but on me I just was starting to feel frustrated sometimes because I felt like I was doing a completely different look and it looked the same. <laughs> Honestly, it was kind of frustrating at first. We're gonna get into the look I did today. Today I feel like I'm fine with how it turned out. I used the e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer. One day I didn't use like any primer and it like creased like crazy. So that was not the smartest thing in the world. But honestly, I have had this palette for a while now and I haven't even wanted to like finish my first impressions review with it because the day I started my first impressions, um, I got interrupted by my toddler. The looks came out okay. Like I said, I did have to take one of them off completely and redo it. Um, but it wasn't terrible. I feel like the looks came out okay. But again, my toddler kind of interrupted so I couldn't finish my my thoughts on it and so I didn't know if I should post it and I feel like let's just start all over because sometimes I feel like that's the best thing you can do. We're gonna start off with Cory Days which looks like it would be a little bit more of a warm toned neutral color. I mean warm tone for this palette I should say um but we'll see and maybe it was just because it was nighttime because I feel like I can see it now, a little bit of the more tan, the tanness color to it. It's kind of like a tan, but cooler toned. I mean, and again, I get it, I get it. That's the point in this palette is to be more cool toned. Trust me, I'm not 
I'm not an idiot, but I'm just saying that on my skin tone, it just all started kind of looking the same. Next, we are going to go into, let's try Gravity Hill right here, this one. Um, I kind of want to do more of the less gray taupey colors. I feel like anytime, sorry, this sounds like really hitting hard in the background. I feel like anytime someone kind of did a review on this, especially in the beginning, I don't know about now, but I feel like in the beginning, anytime someone used this, they really went for the very gray tones, which of course is kind of, like I said, hard not to create a more gray tone look because this is one of the more mauve colors and it looks pretty, you know, pretty gray, pretty gray. Um, the mauves in here definitely remind me of the Making Moss palette, which the Making Moss palette is one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop. So I really do like those kind of grungier-esque tones. I'm fine with that. This one down below. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I like it today because I've been feeling pretty down about this palette. And I hate doing negative reviews because I feel like people always perceive negative reviews like you hate the brand or you have beef with the brand. But it's just... I mean, you guys hopefully know by now that I love ColourPop. I purchase ColourPop all the time. We're going to go ahead and go into Obsidian, which is this deep, almost purpley um, brown. But again, super cool toned. Of course, that's the point in this palette. Is it not? Uh, and we're just going to kind of try and deepen her up. I'm liking it more today. And it, it does definitely have more of those purpley, taupey tones going on my eyes, which I really like. I don't know why, again, I just haven't been able to make my eye looks look too different. But I think today is the most different it's looked between the other looks that I have done. Um, and I think part of the problem was I was really trying to stick to like certain um, groups. Like certain, I was kind of trying to stick to rows because I feel like if you look at the rows, you could almost create a look with each of these rows. Alright, next we're going to go into Mystery. I don't think I've used this one yet. It looks very pretty though. Shimmers are great in this. Oh, that's a very pretty color. I am using it wet. I usually do use my shimmers wet. Okay, so this one looks like I thought it would be a deeper color. But it's a lot more icy than I expected. Because one of my complaints originally was I really wish there was more icier shades um, to put on the inner corner. So that is a good surprise for me. It looks deeper in pan, but it is lighter. So I, I just love lighter shimmers because I feel like they're more versatile than darker ones. So that's just, you know, personal preference. Let's go ahead and do the other eye. Here is the look. Okay, so I finished putting on mascara and I will say I ended up putting so fine on the inner corner and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Honestly, it reminds me of back in the day like when I used my Naked 3 palette. I feel like it's very similar to those types of tones. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. Everything performed really well. I feel like today I can tell a little bit more of a difference between the tones, which is I think what bothered me the most originally. I will say I've never really had this experience with shimmers before where you don't even take that much and you put it on your eye and even if you blend it out ever so slightly, I mean not even anything crazy, it will mix with the matte a lot. Um, it kind of blows out really easily and I've never had that problem. They're just so intense. I almost feel like I would enjoy this better if I used a glitter glue with them to kind of keep them in their place um, because they blend just so almost too good <laughs> that it gets into the matte parts. Um, so that is the only thing I would say with the shimmers going with an itty bit at a time just because you wouldn't think you could overdo it with a shimmer but you can like it if you use your finger it's going to blow out into the matte because they're so intense, pigmented, glittery. And um, yeah, I would either use a glitter glue or just go in with a tiny bit at a time. I'm not mad at it because I love intense shimmers, so I can appreciate it. But I would, 
that's just my warning to you. I don't know, maybe it's just me that's having this problem, but it's annoying that it's gonna look dirty all the days of my life and it's gonna get, look even more dirty. But you know, that's just how you know a palette's getting a lot of love and a lot of use. I think I will use this palette more than originally I thought I would. I mean, I wish I had a mirror because I actually do use palette mirrors when I'm doing my eye makeup. But other than that, I think it's a good palette. And if you're into cool tone neutrals, if you liked the 9pm palette they came out with recently that was that taupey palette, um, if you love the Making Mauves palette, um, or the Coconut About You palette, I feel like if you have all of those, you probably don't need this, but I feel like if you maybe have one or two of those and you're like, yeah, I kind of like those types of tones, I think you'll really enjoy this one. That's all I have to say about this. I don't want to make this video too, too long. Otherwise, um, I will probably do swatches on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a great day. Bye.